that character. I think he does fit in this mid tier bracket though. Ooh. Okay, so now we did just mention that I play this character quite extensively, so I am really excited to see some Byleth on the screen. Alright, so hopping into game number one on Pokemon Stadium 2. Already the arrow comes out from Kyrflex, and he gets the jump call out with the Nair, and that's an edge guard situation. But by the tether is insane. Yeah, you can see the distance. There would be other characters in this bracket that would be unable to make him back in the face of that edge guard. Yeah, that was an incredibly confident start for Kyrflex. Right. Holding his ground at center stage, baiting him to come in with the arrows. And good respect right there from Kyrflex. Sees the arrow jump and says, or the jump, the arrow, and then the jump cancel and says, I know you're going to do something. I'm not going to be skit. I'm not going to shield and respect it. Yeah, there's not too many violent players thus far in SoCal. There's you, of course, and there's the likes of Nico who's been experimenting with. But Kyrflex, one of the players who does have this sort of practice against this character. I am he's looking super solid right now. The Electroshock Gauntlet is not going to kill, but he tries for the Arrow Snipe. Honestly, that's kind of a ballsy move. Byleth's Dare kills it like zero. Yes. So he's got to be incredibly careful how he edge guards because if he goes too low and gets reversal, he will die for it. Yeah, trying to snipe him out of tether range, but Kira just missing barely every time. Dash had Byleth still living at 160. Yeah, and that's going to be the Arrow Bar or reversal right there. He does get the. Or he misses the tech, but he's at such a low percent where he is able to just recover. SJ just walking back and forth, and that's just the invitation for Kira to go for these arrows. Yeah, and Pit's initial dash is actually so good, so he's able to just weave in and out, you know, kind of bait SJ into doing something. Byleth has quite a few laggy options. That's a re grab, yep. Yeah, instantly dead. Against a character with a much of the disjoint as Pit has, especially the bad down smash, you cannot go for that mix up when they're anywhere close to the ledge. Alright, not gonna look for the two frame. Uh, actually, they do, but incredibly late. Not entirely sure about that call. This time, but not gonna stop Gear Flash hunting for some of these up tilts. Right, he goes for the tether ledge trump into the tether off of the ledge trump. Gets the spike. I love to see it. Yeah, he went for it at a height where if he missed, he probably would have been able to grab yeah, the no, ledge. Yeah, no, he was fine. He was fine. Uh, incredibly safe. Yeah, you always want to have that reliability in your pocket. If you're going for it off stage and you're risking death yourself if you miss, that's when it becomes a lot more precarious as he does go hunting for that down air. Yeah, and if he's able to find that, that's just going to be Kira's stock gone. But down throw into the back air, not the best of DI for SJ. Goes low with the Nair, and that will just do it. Yeah. And he's still able to recover. Not even attempting to make it back there as he goes through with this Nair. Violet's Nair has often been compared to Dark Pit's Nair. I mean, even Sakurai said, you know, it's similar to uh, Pit's Nair. The biggest difference is the super wide landing hitbox that Violet's Nair has. Yes. Comes out as soon as Violet lands. Always a great mix-up. Uh, but we're not seeing a whole lot of nerds from SJ. Kira just waiting in place, and SJ inviting that dash attack. The sour spot of the F smash. Ooh, that was a down smash that trades with it. Going to kill Kiraflex off of the top. Really good stuff for SJ. Extremely worthwhile mix up for him there. And SJ hasn't been able to get some of these arrows out, mainly because Kiraflex is a much faster bow of his own. But the way he's been playing at this mid range is sort of making up for it. Honestly, in this matchup, bow's more of a movement option. You know, you can be reverse it, things like that, jump out of it, kind of mix up your landing with it. But yeah, he's not going to be able to get shots off with, you know, things like Pit's bow and also the Guardian Orbiters, or what I believe they're called. Yes. Uh, where he can just reflect the arrow if SJ commits to it, and it will kill. Hero attempting for these snipes, but not giving it to him. Armoring through with that side special, the Electro Shock putting him up to 154 towards the edge. Down throw into the folder. Good DI from Kiraflex. It's actually kind of a scary situation at the ledge with all this rage. Until will be the combo starter, but not that. Wanted no, to go for the no. air bar afterward. That will not happen at this percent. Back air is going to do it for Kyoflex. I like the idea from SJ, but at this percent, it's just there's no way it's going to connect. The best thing you can do is try and up them and then tech chase on the platform when it lands. Yeah, you pretty much require all the wrong DI to even get that set. Yeah. I mean, if Kyoflex DI'd straight in, it may have connected, uh, but not the case. 
A uh, neat little mix-up you can do actually with Byleth is you can buffer an air dodge out of the up B towards a platform like that and go for a tech chase. Oh? Oh, Byleth Dittos? Okay. Byleth Dittos. Hi. Byleth is one of the characters in this game that sort of counters itself. I think more than most others, you can see that F Smash is sort of the natural counter to side special and a lot Weapon of triangle. Or that, yeah. Yeah. Even though it's not actually present in three houses, really. All right, so the Nair's coming out for SJ, gets the folder afterwards, puts Kiraflex on the ledge. So Another side B off the ledge right there for Kiraflex. Nice little mix-up. This time misses the attack off of an air. That'll lead to the rolling into the up air. All right, looks for the up tilt, but does not find it. Down throw into the photo, not going to connect for SJ. And that's going to be a huge uh, recovery tool for Byleth in general, is using the like smash version of Arid Bar because it dashes forward, gets the hitbox out, and then you can immediately grab ledge afterwards. Right, it's sort of a movement option, and it will mess up your opponent's facing if they don't anticipate it. Yeah, it is slow and can be beat at the startup of it, but once the hitbox starts coming out, it's incredibly difficult to do much outside of parry it. Down to the up air from SJ actually putting Kira into the triple digits. On the arrows, but SJ was just one step faster on pulling the trigger. Up till as he jumps right into it, unable to get the juggle afterwards. Yeah, and both these players just playing slowly. It is sometimes difficult to deal with things like shield in, in this matchup. Nice little air dodge on stage from Kiraflax. He looks for the F tilt, but a good dash attack. Tipper comes out for SJ, and that'll be the stop. Yeah, this has been a much slower game, too, than we've seen in game one. Both of them really yeah. hesitant to make the first move, and Kira, in particular, just wants SJ to come to him. All right, the folder, but it's not going to sweet spot. Kira's going low. He doesn't find the back there. A good high recovery from SJ immediately tethering. Dash tag, nice stuff from Kiraflex. I like the little approaches with the bow, shielding it over and over. It says, you don't know if I'm actually going to shoot it. If I'm going to keep closing the distance, forcing you into shield. And eventually, he's able to catch SJ jumping out of shield with the dash tag. Exactly. There's a lot of value in that ambiguity, as we're seeing from here right here. As SJ actually goes into the Nair for his own. All right. Death. The Nair into the forward air once again. Another low forward air. Is Kiraflex able to recover? He is. That is jump the entire time. All right, is Kira going to go low for it? He goes extremely low for the down air. Fast falling down. Kira still has his jump, so we'll be able to bypass the ledge as he does right there. Oh, and just mistimes the parry on that shot. Oh, what an air dodge for Kira Flax. Actually, looking kind of clean, though. Yeah, he's been really pressing his advantage to, you know, pretty good effect in this particular second stock. All right, back, though. SG keeps looking for these arrows. He knows they'll kill Kiraflex at this point. Back, though. No kill throws for Byleth. Now, at this point in the matchup, you can think SJ might go for like a runoff near, but he's actually showing Kiraflex so much respect because he knows if he gets tethered, it's just his stock gone. But Kiraflex, not showing such respect, is going to go out there with the edge guard. Violet's yeah, actually a pretty decently weighted character. It's about the same as Shulka Luigi as he finally falls into that up air. So both of these characters, despite all the rage, are living for quite a while. Yeah, and that's going to, no, no tech chase. I was expecting an up smash onto the platform, maybe. Down tilt looks good. Nope. Kiraflex goes for the same thing that got SJ killed on the last stock of game one. Yeah, that's the risk of using the offensive up special. You automatically put yourself above the opponent, and 
if they react, if they manage to hit attack or put themselves well positioned near the platform, that's when they okay. can really chase you. So a couple facts about Violet's up B. Um, the first hit does 5%, which means if you grab someone past 45%, the first hit puts them to 50 and then 50% is the threshold where it starts to spike every character instead of popping them up. Right. So past 50%, there's no like actual guaranteed combos. It is an unteckable spike at every percent. Uh, wow. So he's not able to tech on the platforms, but that he is able to bounce up and get a punish on KO Flex. So that's why buffering an air dodge or something out of the upbeat can be a really solid option. I and Kira using these side beats to try and get him back to stage, but they are incredibly laggy. SJ will drop down and use one of his own to finish off that stock. Evens out the second set, the second game of this set, rather, and have to imagine that Kira is probably going back to the dark pit at this point. Yeah. I mean, the battle was looking all right. You know, it was a really close game where SJ was at high percent last stock. But I can't... No, he wants to stick it out with the Byleth. You know what? I will, I'm a fan of the character, obviously. I'm excited for another Ditto. Yeah, I like this. These are the sorts of side events where you do get sort of to test out the pockets. And if there is a particular counter pick you want to evaluate, yeah. this is probably the form to do it. And Eve, that's, you got to remember, this is a side event. It's mid-tiers only. So even if Kira Flex, you know, drops this because he decided to get Byleth practice, you know what? He got practice for a potential secondary. Yeah. And... If he loses, what's the harm? He's still got singles bracket. With more knowledge of this potential secondary now. I believe he's also entered in doubles. So there's plenty of more snaps to be played. Exactly. Out. And even if, and then, you know, not to count him out, he could definitely have won this. The last one was incredibly close. He can't, you know, buy him off yet. Yeah, the up throw. Actually unable to get anything off of that air dodge. All right, landing there. Gets shield grab by SJ. I feel like SJ is starting to get more confident. We're seeing more bow movement, things like that. More, you know, just aggressive options from S from SJ in general. Kira runs around, dash attack, putting SJ towards the ledge. It's facing to avoid that follow-up. Alright, looks for the neutral air, but a back throw for... SJ is going to force Kira Flex off stage. I like the bow from downtown, though. Throw it, though. Like I mentioned earlier, Byleth has no kill throws, but they have so many ranged options that put you in a bad spot from so far away. They're able to react to things like a jump like that. Yeah, you cannot praise the horizontal range of that up air enough. You can Ooh. tell, and actually, Kira converting that. It just covers so much distance. It does take a while to come out, so it's not the fastest option, but the amount of coverage, it sort of makes up for it. All right, down tilt goes for the up air, but he doesn't find it. Kira Flex kind of starting to let this one get away from him. Uh, SJ yet to lose a stock almost a couple minutes into this one. Playing really, really safely, but very efficiently to boot. It right, goes for the drag down up here, but there's no actual follow-up to it, especially if you get the backwards hitbox. It's really hard. So up air again, and Kira almost getting lapped in percent here. Again, I feel like I don't like these aggressive upbeats from SJ. You know, he's not able to get anything off of them, especially if you go if you buffer an aerial out of them. It's rarely going to connect at mid percent. Sometimes at really high percent, they'll bounce high enough for like an up air. Um, but even that's the eye dependent. Great up smash though from SJ. Recognizes that Kira's been jumping in on him. The up smash is incredibly large above Byleth. Yeah, I completely agree there. There's nothing that that up special will get you that a down tilt or up tilt won't in a particular situation. It is faster than them, though. Yes. Uh, I looks for the d F smash, but gets punished with a downer from Kiraflex. Two stocks to one here for SJ. Not out of it, but SJ nursing a considerable lead. All right, here comes the nair combos. No, doesn't get the jab. He's tag. Jumping in place and pulling out the bow once again. Ooh, ill-advised from Kiraflex taking a shot. 
SJ just so quick on the draw with the neutral special that, you know, Kiraflex unable to get any fail knots going of his own. And Kira kind of starting to respond with the same strategy. He says, I'll throw out plenty of these. They take so long to charge up, though. It's honestly more... It's, a lot of times, it's better to not shoot it, but make your opponent think you might. And they're doing quite a bit of shield damage. And he has no. it fully charged. A life-saving spot dodge from Kira Flax. Have you ever seen that hit shield? It's insane. Like, turns it into a Skittle. I... That SJ's not going to be able to recover that. I really thought he was, but Kiraflex not out quite yet. He does still have this top player mentality where he's able to keep cool in these situations, play from behind. Yeah, neither character has really gone for the ultimate mix-up in the down special. And after no, that, Kiraflex no, is no this one, far down. No one should be doing that. I mean, that's a Hail no. Mary. No, that's a 60-frame move. No one's getting hit by that raw. Now, in a similar vein... I'm surprised we haven't seen a single attempt at a shield break with a da with a down smash or something like that. Right. Uh, down smash is strong enough that a single blocked uh, fail not shot will put it in shield break range. Down throw. He looks waits for the reaction but doesn't get anything. Down tilt. Air dodges around that. Didn't even want to fall into the up air. No. Oh wow, that reached from all the way over there. Great smash side B from SJ. 